This is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Cyclists in Tunisia who are concerned about the environment take to the roads in the capital city Tunis and many other cities to highlight how cycling could be used to reduce pollution. Reporting from Tunis, here's Adnan Shawashi. According to recent data, the number of people riding a bicycle in Tunisia has increased by over 80% in recent years. This phenomenon is explained by another increasing problem of traffic congestion and atmospheric pollution. Environmental pollution is a real problem in the city. We are accelerating climate change with CO2 emissions. This summer, Tunisia recorded extreme temperatures while rain is scarce. The worst is yet to come for our planet if we don't adopt cycling, which is an environmentally friendly mode of transport. Cycling is good for humans and nature. Dr. Suhail Alwini is a pediatric surgeon and a civil society activist. The 64-year-old cyclist says this sport and physical activity has many health benefits for young people and adults. The bicycle is good for health because anyone can practice this sport at any age. Nearly all muscles of the back, the legs and the abdomen are working when one is cycling. Biking also burns calories and helps people lose weight. More and more Tunisians are considering the option of cycling for short distances. However, the city of Tunis lacks the necessary infrastructure. Many car drivers do not respect cyclists. We are raising awareness about the risk for people while biking in the city where the infrastructure for cycling does not exist. We love biking and we encourage people to bike to work. Bike safely by wearing a helmet and carefully by avoiding accidents. That's how anyone can enjoy the ride. Tunisian cyclists, environmental activists, are campaigning for constructing state-sponsored bike-specific facilities in many regions across the North Africa. Bikes and cars are now sharing the same roads, while people here are campaigning to make roads safer for cyclists. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.